unajua sehemu ya kukondroa na siasa na kuanga ngumu sana kwa sababu wanapata mshahara kutokana na kuongea sasa wasipoongea au mshahara tafanya nini ninaamini ya kwamba vile wameongea kwa wingi ndio watatoa pesa kwa wingi hata wapigie makofi ndio wajitayarishwe watoe pesa sawa kwa wingi wakati ukifika si ni sawa sawa your excellency as i said earlier i'm an old boy of this school niliingia hii shule 1984 na i joined at a levels kwa hivyo nilipoingia nilikuja nikafanya combination inaitwa mg econ mathematics geography and what and economics and you know during our times your excellency because i know you are also that around that time hata ulikuwa shule wakati wetu economics ilikuwa inaanza kufundishwa a levels only so the first time i was given a definition of economics was in this compound nataka nikuelezee your excellency tuko wengi Kenya hii imefaidi sana kutokana na hii shule sana sana kwa upande wa accountants finance officers na watu wale wako business oriented courses na najua wengi wamekuja na kwa sababu leo pia ni siku yetu wale tulisomea said Charles Rwanga at one time in your life please tusimame ili tuweze kuonekana na sisi tujulikane tumefika wale tulisomea said Charles Rwanga tukiongozwa na chama ni wale wale tulisomea Rwanga so these are some of the old boys nataka kueleza your excellency these are people who have done great for this country and they continue to do great for this country so to get to Tanzania tuwapigie makofi old boys of the school uzuri ni kwamba wengi watu wameleta watoto hapa watoto wao wanasoma hapa kwa hivyo unaona good school produces good students who become fathers and as a result of that they also bring their children to to the same school so wengi wao wameleta watoto hapa na your excellency ningependa niseme hivi pale alia unajua wenzangu hapa wameongea sana juu ya maandamano na rafiki yangu ngoyoyo pale unajua amekuja mbunge tu anja maliza mwaka mmoja sisi tumekaa huko kulikuwa na maandamano 2013 kukawa na maandamano 2017 na inaendelea kwa hivyo tusilalamike by the way maandamano iko kwa katiba yetu si mwenye wa Kenya Maandamano iko ndani ya katiba inasema wewe kama mkenya una uhuru wa kuandamana uambie serikali unataka nini ile ambayo yatakikani ukiandamana ufunje mali ya mwenzako kwa hivyo tusije tuka, tukafanya maandamano inaonekana kama ni shetani mkubwa hapana si shetani mkubwa maandamano sisi wa Kenya tulipigia kura tukasema iwepo kwa katiba eh na kwa sababu hiyo kwa sababu hiyo Mnasikia? Sababu hiyo watu wanapoandamana watu wanapoandamana ile tukafanya kama wa Kenya kama tunataka kusaidia inji Mnasikia? Kama tunataka kusaidia inji ni kuulisa ni nini watu wanaandamana. Na your excellency kwa sababu you are the second in command. I must say hii jobo tumetengeneza the task force ile afford 77. Please kama tunataka kusaidia inji au watu tuwapatie nafasi wafanye kazi yao. Wakiongea mbila kupishana na watengeneze kitu mzuri ya inji utaona mtu amekanyaga kwa barabara. Lakini kama wataenda mchezo cheso basi, maandamano itakuwa ni ni lazima tukubaliane. Kwa tuendelea kuandamana. Na hii ni right yetu. Hatuna kwa tunafanya makosa. Ni lazima tuongee ukweli. Ile nyingine your excellence because you are here and I'm sure your MPs might not be able to tell you the truth. Mimi nina PhD economics. My PhD is in economics. Ukiuliza waziri amesema mimi mtu wa mahesabu na ukweli mahesabu na, 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 na mimi na mathematics is one thing. Ameniambia ile hesabu niweza kupata kukosa kidogo ni hesabu ya kutoingia kwanza, Kenya kwanza. Na hiyo nakubali. Hiyo hesabu hiyo hiyo si kupata. Lakini ukweli ni excellence. Na ni vizuri tuambie wakubwa ukweli. Ndio tusaidie inchi. Your excellence ukiangalia finance bill mimi nimekaa mbunge miaka kumi na moja. Sijai kuona finance bill nyingine yenye na upishi kama hii ya mwaka huu wa 2030, 2023. For the last 11 years I've been in parliament. I've never seen it. And the question I ask myself is 
Why this resistance? Why? Well, I since we come back to resist Tuku, it's expected, as I said earlier, sana sana tuna a lot of shares kwa upande wa siyasa, lakini ukiangalea register ya taxpayers, your excellency, wakamba tumenja huko. Ama na mnakani wakamba, tuwe baako otie, alama kwa zetu baako otie, kwa hivyo mwana mwayambozu, we pay taxes. Na diyo bia semi kwa sabu nalipa tax, na hii bile kipita tuanilia kulipa tax, we must get it right. How do we get it right? You are saying there are only two controversial things. Only two. Na kama hiyo mkaeza, na niya tani lazima tushukuru raizi. Jana nilisikia hile likuwa ya vijana, hile digital creation, raizi ya mewaondolea. That's what we want to see. We want flexibility in terms of matters, finance. So that we can get to the thing that we have to do, we have to do it. And you make sense, you are a musomi. Na kwa sabi huo musomi, mimi wale tumisoma economics, the basic principle is that no country in the world has ever developed by taxing people beyond their capacity to pay. No country in the world. None. And you must say the truth. So, kwa sabu, unajua tax in the process too. At the end of the day, ni besa kwa mesa. Ila watafanya kasi na. At the same time, besa ni a taxpayer. Since tunalipa, tunapea rigiji, na boss wanatumia kulingana na manifesto ya Kenya kwanza so the money belongs to the taxpayer and because that is the case i want to appeal to you pana deputy president ukikutana na rais jioni mwangalie two things mambo ya kuongezea vat from 8 to 16% i'm now talking as an economist so hii mambo ya siasa hii kitu ianza juzi juzi sasa hiyo hii ndio ninakula anga hii hii naongea juu yake Mamba ya kuangasea VAT from 8 to 16. Please, let's stop our half as Kenyans and look at that proposal. Tuulizane, hii ilikuwa na tupea pesa ngapi kwa mfuku ya serikali. Is there alternative way of raising the same amount? And if you need that alternative way, I'll be there for consultation for the sake of my country. The other thing I need us to talk about, Your Excellency, hii mambo ya nyumba. Hii mambo ya nyumba unasikia mba ya kisema, huyu. Uyu akipigia hiyo kitu next week Atafutwa na watu wakitu uyu Uta muona tena Atafutwa Waja ni kuambio kweli Atafutwa Kwa hivyo hili tutuweza Kutake care of our leaders Wasio na shida Can we get to a round table your excellency Tuangalia hii 3% House in Levy Kila mkenya nataka house And I really even mean nataka nyumba additional I have one I don't mind an additional one But can we make sure that we get this house in a way that we don't really arm our people. And I want to tell you, Your Excellency, once you get those two right, uta sikiata mbunge, uta sikia maneno. Lakini kama itakaa mine mekaza hii, Your Excellency, wengine lazima tutatoa suwari kwa mbunge. Tukisema no. Si lazima tusema kweli. Eh, kama itakaa mine mekaza hii, I don't pretend myself. If it will be like it is, kura ya makali wa amulu, itakuwa ambik, no. That can be reported in Kenya. For those two, like I will be lying. I have no problem. 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 I have no See, see, because we want it. We gave reasons. We must look at the context. So we want a united country where when we pay our taxes, we get value for taxes. And on that note, Your Excellency, sisi watu wa kitui. Nimeshukuru wewe, nimeshukuru mweshimewa kwa hile barabala nataka wa kibwesi kuenda mwingi ya alami. Na tukasema ni ya sandi. Tuwapigi makosu kwa kuwapigisha kama tuwapata ya barabara. Na tunashukuru sana. Kwa sababu saa hivu, Your Excellency, Kwa na Mombasa, hile need 4 hours, nimelandu kwa Mombari, na nimeanza kusuin. 4 hours. But your excellence, there are two things. Other singers in that road. Na since kama viongosu wa semui, pamoja na mwishi Mombari, because wa semui, watu wetu, wali walitoa mashamba yao, your excellency, hawanja ikuwa compensated at all. At all. Nataka kukianza kurudi jimbani, your excellency kwa kwa ndege, utupe macho kuna kijiji na hito majengo hapa. 
Utaona vile watu wamekaa. Tulitoa hawa maskini wote kwa mashamba yao. Barabara ipite, barabara ikapita mpaka wa sasa wanaishi kwa rendo houses. Na mtu ni maskini. Shida kubwa. Kwa hivyo kama itawezekana please note that utuangalilie hiyo ni jambo moja. Jambo la pili, barabara imekuwa mahali unajua tuliwaambia siku ile nyingine kama ingeweza ifike mbondoni ndio shikanishe hiyo ya mwingi na kitui. Hiyo tukienda kitui hakuna haja kwenda kanyonyo tunakata hapa it will improve eh, it will improve eh, mambo ya mambo ya, 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 ya kupeleka vitu vingi na watu kusafiri. La mwisho your excellency umanda mwisho my constituency jana tumemaliza kufanya budget ya NGI I sit in that committee na ukweli ni kwamba tunge pe, kama itawezekana your excellency tungependa kuona hiyo badam it is one of the 2030 flagship projects umandam which was done that uh, you remember the fishing 2030 by by mwishimu kibaki that program is still hanging tunaomba kama itawezekana tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo project imepewa era pia ndio iweze kumaliziwa but kwa ujumla your excellency want to say is people from this region as we are in the opposition it's not a secret but being the opposition doesn't mean you oppose blindly. That's why we have gone to school. That's why we have we to text to analyze issues. And where they are good, we tell they are good. I kuondoa gas kutoka your excellence from gas, ile gas, VAT and gas. Umetaremusha. Iye ni mzuri sana kwa Kenya. Atu nafraia. Ata sisi wa wanyitu kwa opposition. So it's not that the bill doesn't have good things. It has. But those two controversial ones, can we look at them so that we help the country grow and we remain united. So with those many remarks and my two, twenty na kuwata na, tisa sawa, na tuya kiki shalito and tuya kuwata tuya 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 kinu kimoe tuya na wasi au moe, siya si tuya na siwa ni siya na siya kusobi ndi siya kwa nanga, na tuka ndi ya na kusobi ndi, ngai ndi utwa vimi na mbua, ndi mukwana ndi matumai kali le, tuya na kumutu ngi amovea, na liwa wato kuwata na vadali, tusobi tuya kimi undani, wili mbua ya idela, tuya kiri tuya na kuya, ilo kwa na tuya abona. Let's be together for the sake of this school. You have to say that I will say that when I'm contributing. Lakini shule kama hii ya Luanga, shule kama kitu ya school, your excellency, shule kama Mulango Gaos, shule kama Mutun, St. Angeles, those are the old big schools in this constituency. Na nipende nispende CDF yangu Ayezi ika ika vera those four and the babies ingine. Niko na vivi tisa vivi schools, secondary schools. The others have done have managed to do science lab for all of them. Kwa hizi kido kuto kuya CDF. So because I know macho. We have some money for infrastructure. Namba mila mpya kisa kisa kwa.